everybody. Welcome to learning the Scottish Great Highland Bagpipe with me, J.D. Ingram, Pipe Major of the Charleston Pipe Band. This week we're going to be learning... Lesson 31. Getting ready to compete. Your goal is that once you've performed with the band and you've been introduced to some of the level 2 sets and competition music, that you will learn the grade 5 competition set and attend and possibly even participate in a contest with a band. I'm a firm believer that doing things with others and with like-minded people make them much more worthwhile. And that's exactly why the Eastern United States Pipe Band Association exists. It was formed in 1964 with one of the founding members being Sandy Jones, the author of the book that accompanies this series, as well as the founding pipe major of my band. Today it covers most of the eastern United States from Texas to Maine, as far south as Florida and as far to the northwest as Ohio. Parts of Ohio and the Great Plains are covered by the Midwest Pipe Band Association, and there is also a Western U.S. Pipe Band Association that covers the Southwest, California, and other parts of the West Coast. There are pipe band associations for all of the Canadian provinces, Scotland, Ireland, and down under. So wherever you are in the world, there probably is a pipe band association that affects you. I absolutely think it's worth checking out your local pipe band association, seeing what events they have going on. Many of them offer educational resources or gatherings or workshops and they can really help with the learning journey and the process to continue a lifelong pursuit of perfection. Beyond this, they sponsor contests where you can go and play for a judge, you and your band or you as a soloist, and a judge or judges will offer you constructive feedback to improve yourself, as well as giving you potentially a prize if you're the best piper of the day. All right, so I just wanted to show you the EUSPBA homepage real quick as a way for you to get more information. Uh, the homepage, super simple, uh, EUSPBA.org. It's got all sorts of news and updates. Um, if you navigate through the different tabs, there is a very easy online sign up. Just click right there. They have results for competitors to show kind of the season standings. Every time you beat somebody, you get a point and they add it up over the course of the season. So you can see bands uh, by grade, you can see individuals, uh, both pipers and drummers, and those by grade. And if you look closely, you can find me right there. How about that? Um, if you move on to uh, some of the other tabs, have useful information if you're looking to compete, uh, first time competitors, how to get a grade level assigned, how to upgrade after you've been competing a while. Um, there is a tab full of pipe music, which is pretty cool. Um, standard settings for the EUS PBA, all right here in PDF form. Just click on those, brings up the sheet music. Boom. Um, there's a calendar, it's got all the events in uh, different formats there, so that's nice. A lot of the events are clickable and you can copy. They've got links to like the event webpage and uh, point of contact, so that's cool. And last but not least, the voice. So the EUSPBA used to put a, a print magazine out called The Voice. Uh, no longer prints the magazine, but it still does periodically do basically like blog posts on interesting subjects related to pipers, pipe music, uh, drummers, pipe band history, etc. Um, and so a lot of the um, historic articles as well as more modern blog posts are there. So. Check it out. If you're a beginning bagpiper and you're playing with a band, odds are you're playing with a grade five or grade four band, but they go all the way up to grade one. Grade five bands play a assortment of marches called a quick march medley in the EUS PBA, which is what I will be discussing from here on out. A quick march medley includes tunes just like the ones we've learned in this series anywhere from six to eight parts of music. A grade four band has the option of playing a march, jazz, bay, and reel, or a medley. 
a march in a march strass bay and real must be in 2-4 time and must be four parts of music. Strass bays and reels can be either two parts or four parts of music with some criteria about the selection of those tunes. Refer back to a prior lesson about Scottish music idioms if you want to refresh yourself on what a strass bay and reel are. The medley is three to five minutes of music for grade four and it should encompass a variety of different idioms and tempos. And there are little other guidelines than that, though most medleys follow a fairly predictable kind of roadmap through the various idioms of music. Other rules that are applicable to all band competitions are that band members should be wearing appropriate apparel. This means highland wear, typically kilts and vests and ties or jackets or something like that and headwear is also expected in most contests. The bands must include at least five pipers, two snares, and one bass drummer. Grade four must also have a tenor drummer and if your band is above that in grade three, two, or one, the numbers go up from there. Bands must begin performing by marching to a specified area most of them march into a circle, though some contests have begun offering a stage. In either case, you must approach the playing area in an orderly fashion, and in the case of marching into a circle, you actually have to march up while playing if you're in grade four. The judges typically include two piping judges, one drumming judge, and one full band ensemble judge who kind of acts as the head judge for the event and is the decision who breaks ties in the case of one. All right, just to give you a feel for what a band contest looks like, I pulled up a contest from a couple years ago that our band participated in. Here we are on the field. There's a line that we are lined up at and a nice little block there in the middle of the screen and the ensemble judge has just given me the go ahead to start the set. So let's give it a listen. So right there you heard me say band to the right, quick march. We struck in with the uh, two four beat rolls from the drums and started playing the tune. We are still on the move. You might have noticed while we were on the move, uh, one of the players shifted into to make our filled in block a hollow block. So we're now we're like an open square shape. At the repeat of the tune, we uh, turn in to and round out the edges of our square to make a circle. And then right there, everybody except for me stopped moving their feet. From this point out, the pipe major is the only one who will be dictating the tempo. Um, you might also notice these guys walking around the outside. Those are our judges. Um, probably can't tell on this video, but I'll link the original YouTube video. You can see two circles drawn on the grass. There's one circle that is our guideline for our band to line up to. You don't have to line up to the guidelines. It's just that. It's guidelines. And then there's a bigger circle, which is the uh, you shall not pass line for the judges. Uh, apparently before those lines were drawn, judges would actually get right in somebody's face to try to listen real close and distract people. So now there's a 10 foot of buffer that the judges have to listen from. But there'll be four judges you might see throughout the course of the video. I'm not gonna watch the whole video, but um, we go ahead and play this whole set. This is our medley set. And right about here, is where we uh, finish the set and
Nice clean cut, hopefully. Thunderous applause from the audience. And then in the course of about 10 seconds, we walk orderly off the field. And that's how that looks. If you are in a grade five band like this one, you have the option to m just march up not playing to the circle. So you'll hear the same call from our pipe major after she gets the go ahead from the ensemble judge, who's this guy here. And they just walk up to a tap, nice and easy. When they get to the circle, they'll do the exact same pattern that we did, forming a circle. The difference is you have a lot less to think about while you're not playing. Nice, easy circle making at the designated uh, signal. They will stop marking time. And just like in the other set, uh, from this point on, the pipe major is the only one who will make any noise or move her feet uh, to get the band going. And that's the band contest. So uh, leading up to this, there's all sorts of stuff that your band might do to prepare have some run-throughs, practice the starting together, stopping together. Those are very key aspects of the performance, but it's a good opportunity to uh, just get a feel. So check them out. I'll have the links uh, tagged probably here or there. Check them out. Thanks for watching again this week, guys. Some final thoughts for you. Playing for critical audiences is a really great way to improve and I highly recommend you join your local association, be it the EUSPBA or any other association worldwide, and take opportunities to go play for professionals and judges, even if it's not in a formal contest setting. If you get involved with your local band and they decide to compete for the very first time, have them look out for sanctioned band contests. Sanctioning by an association like the EUSPBA can help provide standard expectations for what needs to be played and how the judges will score you, which helps a lot. Also, encourage them to compete because let's face it, it's fun to win. Take care, guys.